power. A singular word, yet very powerful. Power brings development. Jordi Albert, Lionel Messi! Power makes businesses possible. The cost of not having power cannot be quantified. Here in Nigeria, we have 30,000 healthcare facilities providing healthcare. And you want to be able to have lights to be able to provide critical, um, life saving surgeries. And that's not just during the nighttime, you really have to have that during the day. At the same time, you have to have electricity to be able to have a cold fridge for your immunizations. Without that, you're delivering immunizations that are not viable. Before 2019, the health center in this farming community in Rokota ran on petrol generator. And this cost a lot to maintain. As such, the health center could not boast of having 24-7 power to treat and maintain its patients. We use touch light to attend our patients in the night. So many miscarriages is happening because lack of light. And also for us to get our vaccine, priority immunization, we have to travel down to headquarters, which is less than 15 kilometers, to get our vaccines. Let's just be frank that healthcare workers don't want to work in a facility that doesn't have lights, that doesn't have good equipment, that doesn't have the drugs that we want to deliver that saves lives. My school is far away from here. I have to trek there and come back. After trekking back, I'm tired. I have to do my assignment with Kandu. We have here installed capacity of 63.4 kilowatt peak with uh, storage batteries. These are uh, uh, attempts or measures to ensure the constant power supply. In case there is no sunlight for maybe it's raining for some days. The miscarriage is now stopped and also we are now running shifting in our clinic now 24 hours. If you come we will receive your services. The water we are using before is not clean. Uh, it's not easy for us to get water, but now we are enjoying our clean water. The environment is well sanitized. We are not good traveling down to AJ and collect our vaccine. The exciting thing about this project is that not only is the health center really going to benefit from this project, but the entire village is going to benefit from this. The businesses are going to benefit. The education sector is going to benefit. You're going to see a boom that's really going to affect all of the village and all of the people. And that's what we're really excited about is not just the health sector. I used to do my assignment now with life. My result is not good. And since we have light in our health center, I want to be a doctor in my community. The fact that uh, we were able to do the first uh, isolation centers uh, catalyzed the uh, federal government itself uh, to commit to doing uh, 200 uh, primary healthcare centers, which uh, is currently being implemented. Uh, and also, the World Bank uh, committed to doing uh, 100 isolation and treatment centers and 400 primary healthcare centers. So, we really worked through small grants, working with REA and the World Bank to put this program forward. And we really believe in these strong partnerships to move this forward to affect villages like Rokota. The quality of life is far better now in Rokota compared to before. And because of this, Rokota is now on the map. Partner with us in our vision to light up Nigeria and Africa as a whole.